guys, Jeff the Nature Guy here at Zoo Montana, and I've got to talk about this beautiful insect that I just found here at the zoo, and many of you might be finding them, especially here in Montana. They are making a northern approach, which is so interesting, because typically a mantid is a tropical animal, really likes the warmer weather. Uh, maybe a sign things are warming up here in Montana. We're not here to, to talk about that today, but let's talk about this incredible animal. Now, this is actually an invasive species, believe it or not. They do not belong here in Montana, uh, but their numbers are slowly overtaking the U.S. But what a cool bug this is. Of course, it's called a praying mantis. They are called of that because of their front legs that kind of looks like they're praying, which is where they get their name. But this is actually a pretty good predator. Loves to eat other bugs like moths, bees, um, other insects. They make it a hold of. Of, and they're really good hunters, great at grabbing them with those legs and then using those incredible mandibles, those jaws, to essentially chew that insect up. Now, here's the really cool thing about these mantises. They are the only insect that can actually rotate their head. They can turn their head 180 degrees. No other insect can do that. So these guys can literally turn and look at you. Uh, kind of gives them an appearance of an intelligent animal. And believe it or not, mantises are relatively intelligent when it comes to insects. Insects. Now, this young lady here, I know she's a lady, she's actually got a really thick abdomen there, a sign that she's probably going to be laying eggs soon. And these bugs, they will actually lay an egg sac about this size, and usually in the spring, those will hatch. Uh, several hundred mantises could come out of that egg sac. But nonetheless, look for these guys. Now, one final thing, you may see the green and the brown color. There's really no rhyme or reason to the coloration, but the theory is, is that it has to do with the habitat that they're found in. Obviously, when it's a drier year, and things are brown, obviously you're going to see more brown mantises. When things are lush and green, the green color is going to be a little bit more prominent. But believe it or not, it's still sort of a mystery of why they can come in these different colors, but that theory certainly makes sense. But guys, until next time, I am Jeff the Nature Guy with this incredible praying mantis. Go out and check them in your own backyard.